Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News Line and we have the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 20th of February. PM Modi kicks off big infra push in Jammu and Kashmir, says Article 370 was main hurdle. There is misinformation, says Bangladeshi politician on India Out campaign. And UN to explore appointment of envoy to engage with Taliban. And now for all the details. In a mega development push ahead of general elections, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday inaugurated and laid foundation stone for multiple development projects worth over 32,000 crore rupees from Jammu City. He also flagged off the first electric train in the valley along with distribution of appointment letters to about 1,500 new government recruits. In his address, PM Modi termed the Article 370 as hurdle for development and said since its abrogation, the region of Jammu and Kashmir has been moving towards balanced development. Taking a dig at the opposition, he said he is glad Jammu and Kashmir is getting freedom from dynastic politics, those who were only concerned about their families and not about the interest of the common citizens. Earlier, only disappointing news of bombs, kidnappings and separation used to come from Jammu and Kashmir, but now Jammu and Kashmir is developing and moving forward, he said. एक नया जम्मू कश्मीर बनते हुए देख रहे हैं प्रदेश के विकास में सबसे बड़ी दीवार आर्टिकल 370 की थी आर्टिकल 370 की थी इस दीवार को भाजपा की सरकार ने हटा दिया है अब जम्मू कश्मीर एक संतुलित विकास की ओर बढ़ रहा है। In a symbolic show of dissent against the Indian government's proposal of guaranteed support prices for pulses, corn and cotton, agitating farmers on Tuesday grew onions on the highway divider at northern Punjab-Haryana border. The government has offered guaranteed support prices for pulses, corn and cotton in a bid to break a deadlock with the protesting farmers after week-long clashes between security forces and protesters. However, rejecting the proposal, the farmer leaders have declared they will continue the protest and march towards capital New Delhi on Wednesday. Tear gas and barricades were earlier used to deter the farmers, an influential voting bloc in India months ahead of a general election due by May. शंभू बैरियर के फुटपाथ पर हमने प्याजी से भी लगा के बताया है कि जो हमारी खेती का रूल है खेती कहीं भी हो सकती है जहां मिट्टी अच्छी हो उधर ही खेती होगी जैसे ये बोल रहे हैं सिर्फ दाल के ऊपर ही एमएसपी देंगे गेहूं के और दान के ऊपर ही देंगे तो ये देख लो एमएसपी इस पर भी हमारे को मिलनी चाहिए जो तेईस हमारी फसलें हैं तेईस फसलें पर मिलनी and a leader of the Bangladesh Islami Front, who is in New Delhi, underscored the importance of India-Bangladesh ties, the misinformation campaign against India and terrorism in South Asia. A report. SUM Abdul Samad, the Secretary General of the Bangladesh Islami Front on Tuesday, underscored the importance of growing India-Bangladesh ties and said the recent India Out online campaign, especially after elections, is driven by hardline elements who spread hate and misinformation. Speaking during his visit to New Delhi, Samad said cordial ties are crucial for both the neighboring countries as he highlighted the increased connectivity in recent years. में एक रॉन्ग इनफॉरमेशन वहाँ में हो गए हैं पहले से जो इंडिया समेत जो अंदर बांग्लादेश से बहुत हाथियाल ले आया वगैरह ले आया ये जुलम किया सतम किया इस तरह की बात बांग्लादेश में बहुत ज़्यादा पहला ना है तो इंडिया को ये लाज़म है ये देखा ना हम तुम्हारे ख़लाब नहीं हम तुम्हारे दो when asked about terrorism and religious fundamentalism in South Asia and Pakistan's role, Samad emphasized the need for an establishment in Islamabad that does not let terrorism to flourish. 
नहीं पाकिस्तान के ऐसा इम्पेक्ट साउथ एशिया में नहीं है अच्छा सरकार होना चाहिए जैसे टेररिज्म के डेवलप नहीं हो सकता है पाकिस्तान में भी ऐसा सरकार होना चाहिए जाते एशिया में टेररिज्म के डेवलप नहीं हो मूविंग ऑन रेजिंग फॉरेस्ट फायर इन पार्ट्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर हैज बिकम अ कॉज ऑफ वरी अमंग दी लोकल्स एज इट इज सीवियरली अफेक्टिंग द इकोलॉजी ऑफ द रीजन रेजिडेंट्स हैव लमेंटेड द पाकिस्तानी अथॉरिटीज हैव टेकन नो एक्शन सो फार Residents in Pakistan occupied Kashmir have raised concern over raging forest fires near Muzaffarabad and lamented inaction by authorities to check such incidents which are affecting the biodiversity of the region. Widespread deforestation and felling of trees have already affected large swathes of forest area in POK and locals have to brace the hazardous consequences. they have requested the pakistani authorities to take strict action against forest arsonist and deploy guards to protect the wildfire kinge baaki beshak jalta hai pura jangal jal jaye kuch bhi ho wo koi bhi is pe kabu nahi pa sakta na koi yahan pe fiber gate ka system to hai is tarah ye log iski rok tham nahi kar rahe aur koi is tarah tojo bhi nahi de raha na aur ye na parwa karna ki wajah se ye maaz hoti hai log ki bad rahi hai baat se nahi ho rahi जमेंट between afghanistan's de facto taliban authority and the international community gutre said that taliban representatives did not accept an invitation to a meeting of international envoys to afghanistan that he convened in doha he added that he hoped taliban officials would attend the next such meeting the taliban took over afghanistan in 2021 and since then it has imposed harsh rules on women making their daily lives miserable Following such harsh restrictions no country has formally recognized the Taliban's regime in Afghanistan We want a Afghanistan in peace peace with itself and peace with its neighbors able to assume uh, uh, the commitments and the international obligations of a sovereign state and uh, 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 at the same time uh, doing so in relation to the international community the other countries and its neighbors and in relation to the rights of its own population the latest edition of the indian navy's multilateral exercise milan 2024 kicked off in the city of destiny visakhapatnam on monday with the largest ever participation of around 50 countries the exercise is being conducted over a duration of 9 days and is divided in harbor and sea phase the harbor phase which began on monday comprises operational conferences and seminars along with cultural exchange and a city parade at the rk beach in the sea phase participating navies along with the indian navy will be engaged in maritime patrol operations large force maneuvers along with anti submarine warfare and anti surface operations aiming at honing the skills that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night tag tv brings you daily news bulletin from india breaking news and views from india